Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of How's It Burn? My name is Jen and I'm the artist behind North Star Pyography. This week, I'm not gonna show you what it's like to burn on a type of wood. I'm gonna show you what it's like to burn on paper. Paper is really fun to burn on. You can get a lot of different types of paper, different textures, different colors even. One thing that's really nice about burning on paper is you can frame it. You can put it behind UV resistant glass and it really adds to the protection of the piece, making it last for a long time. Different types of paper, again, is just a general preference. If you can pick up sample packs somewhere of different types, then that's great. I've used hot press watercolor paper as well as cold press watercolor paper. I usually try and go for the 120 pound, that way it keeps the, the sturdiness of the paper. And I've also tried just a multimedia sketch paper out of a sketchbook that I have. And they all worked quite well. Here we go. Okay. So here we have some paper, and I've got three different types. I'll just be showing you on one, but some of the different types that I've used, um, there's multimedia sketch paper that I have. It's got a little bit of texture to it. And then there's also a cold press watercolor paper, and this is 120 pounds, so it's a little bit thicker than the multimedia paper that's quite flimsy. This also has a texture to it, so it can give you some texture to your, your design once you burn it. And then there's also a hot press watercolor paper, and this is a lot smoother, and it's also 120 pound watercolor paper as well. So those are the different kinds. You can get way more other types. These are the ones I've used, but I'm gonna show you on the cold press 120 pound watercolor paper for the styles, and then I'll show you the other ones at the end um, that I've burned on so you can get an idea of the texture and stuff that you can get from those. I'm going to start with the spear shader. I use this one again for usually just lines, um, straight lines, lines that are certainly curved. You can shade with these as well. This is still at a high heat. so And because this is a textured watercolor paper, the cold press usually has a texture to it. It's going to give you a texture when you shade it. So here is the tip that I've just made myself. I use this one a lot for outlining. So I have this at a lot higher of a setting than I did for this just because my tip is a little bit bigger. You can shade with these as well. Here I have my ballpoint. You can stipple on this paper, just make sure you don't burn right through it. So start out at a lower heat maybe and just Start from there and, and see how it goes. You can always turn up the heat. So obviously the quicker you dot, the smaller the dots, the longer you leave it, the bigger, but you could also burn right through it. So you can stipple. It still looks pretty neat. Really good for if you're gonna do pointillism in your piece. That'd be really neat. With paper, you just really gotta take your time. It is slower burning than wood. Do you find as well if you shade with this one just in a circular motion that this one here will give you the most texture which can be really neat for some things if you're doing an animal or landscape or something and you need that texture here I have like my teardrop shader tip I really like this one for shading you can get some really great smooth shades with it of course again on this paper when you shade it you're always going to have that little bit of texture on it because it's the cold press paper. Um, the multimedia paper would probably have it no matter what as well. I don't find I get it as much with the hot press because it's quite the smooth paper. So you might be able to get a, a smoother burn if you turn it down and just go really slow. I do have this up still so I'm moving pretty fast which also leaves a little bit of a texture. Here is my small round shader. I use this one for a variety of different textures and whatnot. So the shading, again, again I, still I still have my pen turned up quite high. So you're going to get that texture again because I'm going fast. There, it's cooling a bit now. So you can see, you can get your fur, sorry if my hand's in the way there, um, quite well. With it, you can get the texture, fur, grass, whatever you're aiming for. Again, try not to burn right through your paper doing it this way, but if you work fast enough, you shouldn't have that issue. If your paper is quite thin and it gets really hot, it might burn your tabletop. So if you're 
working with the thinner papers, maybe try putting a piece of wood or a piece of glass or something just underneath. Some neat texture as well. It almost looks like scales, so it'd be really great for fish, snakes. Again, this is the cold press, you can see there. And it's got the texture to it, so you're always going to have a little bit of texture. If you slow down your shading, you might be able to get a lot smoother of a shading, but I think the texture adds almost a vintage antique look to it. Here is some that I did earlier. Here's one on hot press. There's the cold press again, so you can kind of see a bit of the difference. So your detail here on the hot press, you're gonna get a lot sharper lines than you would on the, the cold press just because of the texture again. Your burning or your shading can be a lot smoother on here because it's a smoother paper. I do find that the hot press does require a little bit higher of a heat than the cold press, but it all depends on your machine, the tip you're using and everything because each tip is gonna require a different heat. And then the multimedia paper. So when you burn on the multimedia paper, it does ripple a little bit. So that's something to take into account too, that your page doesn't ripple too much. And you also will see it right through. And that's where you can get burning on your table or your surface that you're working on. And the shading is not quite as rough as the cold press, but it's not quite as smooth as the hot press. Um, but everything else is pretty good. This one I do find you have to take your time a lot more on. You gotta go slower. The lines are not as smooth. Um, they're on multimedia paper. So yeah, there you go.